Hello everyone and welcome to the Ninja Trader webinar room. My name is Tiffany Sampson and I work for Ninja Trader in our Denver office. We have a very special event for you today with Julie Wade of J Auto Trading Strategies. It is important to understand that there are substantial risks in trading commodity future contracts in Forex. You should carefully consider whether such tra tra <laughs> trading is suitable for you and dependent on your specific circumstances and financial resources. It is possible to lose all funds to pauses with your broker, and you can even incur losses beyond these amounts. Please inquire at the link provided for more information or for the copy of the CFTC full risk disclosure. Also, please remember that these training webinars are not a solicitation nor a recommendation, but simply educational by, me by nature. This presentation this presentation is presented by NinjaTrader LLC, which is a technology company responsible for developing and supporting the NinjaTrader trading software. Brokerage-related questions should be directed to NinjaTrader brokerage directly at the information provided. With tools um, added nearly every day, NinjaTrader ecosystem is home to hundreds of apps and services. You can quickly and easily find the tools or services you are looking for with a simple keyword search. You'll also find information about upcoming webinars, and on-demand video archive to view event recordings at the link provided. Also, if you are active on social media, please ensure to like and follow us for the best way to get updates on all things NinjaTrader ecosystem. NinjaTrader is always free for advanced charting, strategy, backtesting, and trade stimulation. To ensure you are on the latest version of NinjaTrader and pick up a free live data trial, please visit the following link. You can purchase or release NinjaTrader at the following link. And if you are just getting started with NinjaTrader, we offer free live training on a daily basis. You can view a schedule of weekly webinars at the following link. We are very excited for this unique event in which Julie will share two short-term strategies using JAT's custom NinjaTrader indicators, a range between breakout strategies and a version of, of the mean strategy. Thanks again for your attendance today, and without further ado, it is my pleasure to welcome to the administrator webinar room, Julie. Please take it away, Julie. Oh, thank you, Tiffany. Um, thanks for having me, Ninja Trader, uh, and everyone for taking the time to attend the presentation. Um, there will be a slide deck and speaker notes with the special offer on the website, so be sure and check that out. Um, you know, I've spent the last few years studying price patterns, learning a lot about volatility-based ranges, and sort of ended up with a systematic process to determine when momentum, linear regression, and the higher time frame trend are in synchronization across multiple time frames. Uh, this process now includes a quantitative method that I'm very excited about, um, calculating risk and reward levels based on a range taken from a customized time period we use in the trade room during the morning's RTH session. So this systematic and quantitative process has been input on the NinjaTrader Market Analyzer. Um, and We'll take a quick look at that now, if you don't mind, because it serves as the roadmap for our intraday trading. Um, there is a um, higher time frame trend on the right-hand side. Um, I don't know if y'all can see my PowerPoint um, laser. Can everybody see that? Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Okay. Higher time frame trend. The multiple uh, higher time frames, uh, the weekly, daily, 60, 15, you know, I started out using that. That's pretty much what I did when I began formulating this process. So I've synthesized that and um, allow one solver now to take those settings and I just label it bullish or bearish. Uh, for the easy overall trend identification. Um, then as we proceed down the market analyzer, I've got momentum li and linear regression envelopes on multiple time frames, the 60-minute, 15-minute, and 5-minute charts. 
And then this is followed by a 15 minute volatility channel. Um, what this column does right here is it shows the range uh, when price is trading above or below a 15 minute range. And I've noticed from empirical experience that whenever price is trading inside the 15 minute range, it's just going to also be contained on the lower time frame. It's not until that 15 minute range breaks that's when price is likely to start taking off in a range expansion and we can look for uh, our quantitative profit targets uh, at that time. Uh, likewise, um, you can see some zeros on the solvers where nothing is filled in. That just shows that there's no condition present. Uh, it signals a flat market when uh, price is either consolidate, consolidating or even perhaps reversing. So you've got to be aware that those zeros can turn into opposite signals. Um, but then moving down the market analyzer real quick, we've got the uh, prior close. That's the daily close, prior day high and low. Uh, you can see instantly where price is trading above or below these levels. Range expansions often occur when price is above or below that prior day high low. So that's a good signal for you just to give you the heads up that you've got both the range and that prior low. Uh, markets are reaching uh, that day on the bond, sending it down low, low, low. So you can really stay with a um, strategy trying to reach those targets. So those are the fundamentals to the systematic portion of my process for taking entries on short-term strategies. These next four columns are more for informational purposes. There is a uh, net uh, last price, uh, net change, volume, and daily ATR. I just want to note that any changes or increases over a short-term period of time, whenever these levels um, contract, um, you, you can be assured that consolidation is coming into the market and the ATR will not reach its short-term averages. But whenever the range starts expanding, for instance, that's when ATR is increasing, requiring adjustments to both your risk and reward levels, but providing the maximum um, profit targets um, opportunities. So the greater the volatility, the wider the ranges, thus requiring a very strategic planned entry and exit. So this overall, this new quantitative approach on the JATS Market Analyzer template for day trading, uh, the morning session that we use, um, takes two percentages of a short-term average for this custom range. And this is now shown as profit target one and profit target two. So I'm really glad to have these on the monitor. It really helps. And my risk, again, is just using a um, ATR, standard uh, ATR in a 15 minute or five minute. Uh, I like knowing what 1R is um, so I can make my own adjustments for applying stop losses. Again, I really want to be seeing uh, that this risk is um, increasing. Perhaps I'd want to consider increasing the multiplier to say a, a 3 from a 2 or even a 3.5 to allow for deeper pullbacks. But like, you know, be aware that anytime your risk is increasing, um, your volatility is changing, so you want to take a look at volatility channel lines, like on the JATS LRT line indicators, and also see if you're going to be getting a bounce. And we'll get into the specifics of this LRT lines indicator uh, momentarily. So um, any time that you see these linear regression lines sit on top of a volatility level, it's like a matador uh, waving a red flag to the bull saying, hit me. So be aware of what your risk is showing you and your profit targets and see how that adjusts to our support resistance levels. So that's going to really complete my package and my trading system. So I've incorporated volatility levels, also important, with standard support resistance levels. And for determining uh, risk and profit, I'm taking a chunk out of a trading range that we use intraday in the morning session. And so now we have our quantitative side for determining uh, that risk. Uh, when risk is on, by the way, this market analyzer is just going to flash red or green. 
and that's going to really help you with the breakout strategies taken off the opening range levels. Um, and you can trade those uh, to your profit target. So you can see here we had a nice breakout uh, leading to that huge range expansion uh, the day that this screenshot was taken. Uh, when risk is off, though, uh, the markets are going to go flat. So in the afternoon session, uh, Globex, uh, they went flat. And you can see that sea of zeros on the market analyzer showing you that there's really nothing to do yet. It was pre-market and uh, the zeros come out. So I hope this helps you understand our short-term uh, process in the market. Um, about the company and myself, um, JATS has been developing custom trading indicators and templates for the NinjaTrader ecosystem for about four years now and supporting their um, membership, uh, their users, uh, platform users, and active traders around the globe. Um, we are also a value-added resellers for the Shark Indicators Bloodhound and Blackbird add-ons for NinjaTrader 8. So if you would like to subscribe to a market analyzer template or the JATS complete package, you would first need to get a license from Shark Indicators for Bloodhound. Otherwise, if you just like the indicators, they're perfectly fine to use in the NinjaTrader platform and you can code your own signals or strategies using the indicators as you would from any of the other uh, indicators that you can get on uh, the um, NinjaTrader ecosystem. Uh, we provide live trading uh, in a trade room three days a week. It is a central component of um, our methodology because we're always testing our um, templates and strategies and use the tr live trade sessions for further refinement. Um, go to meeting uh, links are set, uh, sent out and a lot of um, trader education is provided during these sessions as well. So let's get into our agenda today. Uh, we're going to take a look again and go over the brief review of the short-term trading strategies that we use. Uh, they're systematic and quantifiable. Uh, they're, we incorporate the risk control and rules and um, we look at performance metrics on our own. I mean, my templates are not an algo. I'm not, you know, um, selling an algo. These are templates that we all can use and use the uh, platform to um, measure our performance and we'll go through uh, how we can test in both NinjaTrader and in um, Shark Indicators um, in the trade room. So key concepts, um, I just want to say that you know there's really no reason that retail traders can't do the same thing that traders working for a big hedge fund does, which is to find a systematic approach to the market, trade it in SIM until the strategy makes money, and end up with a pretty sophisticated um, strategy and use it in a platform like NinjaTrader, which levels the playing field tremendously. So um, for short-term strategies, you want to trade uh, the strategy that is systematic and quantifiable. Um, and if you're scratching your head saying, you know, well, what do those words mean? Systematic just means, you know, picking something as simple as trading price when it's above or below a prior day's close and the current session's open using momentum or another trend filter. So uh, that, in fact, is the first strategy used in the JATS Direction Guide template and is still being used as a main staple for directional trading. Um, quantif quantifying a strategy means using standardized risk reward methodology for backtesting and live trading. Uh, today we're going to look at two strategies, um, a range breakout and a reversion to the mean strategy. Um, and we'll go over the details of those in more depth, but just keep in mind that whenever you you're trading a strategy, you want to make sure that you have something, the sale behind your back, you want that momentum and higher time frame trend um, when you are uh, trading a breakout strategy. And also on a reversion to the mean strategy, you're going to be wanting a flat rangy market, not a strong trending momentum market. And uh, make sure that that outside level, volatility level has been reached and you're anticipating those reversion to the mean opportunities. So you really have some um, 
bones to put behind the type of strategy that you are trying to trade, um, these indicators just sort of help with the locational uh, aspect for that. So you can add your own filters or use our additional filters that we use. Always back test, of course, a new strategy before you trade it so you can define and tweak your rules and conditions. Look to the outliers to see what happened during those sessions. I mean, the NinjaTrader platform will show you the outlier days. Go back and take a look at those. Sometimes reviewing the outlier days provides a solution for you how to better filter a strategy in order to normalize performance and generate a higher performance. Uh, so some curve fitting could be applied in the right manner is good when building a strategy. Uh, these indicators for Danger Trader 8, I'm so glad to have them. You know, short-term traders are looking for levels to trade from, um, and these two indicators give you lots of levels. Uh, the JATS opening range indicator provides multiple support resistance levels that can be used for those breakouts and reversals. Um, the LRT lines indicator provides directional trend trading and volatility base levels. So that is um, a dual you know, purpose indicator. Um, and the um, opening range indicator, you have your standard opening range uh, levels that we'll look at in just a few minutes. Um, today, stick around to the end because I'll be offering a 50% one month dis subscription discount. Uh, for a select time period between July 22nd and August 16th. This will really give you a chance to look at the indicators in our strategy and hopefully see if you would like to join the room and join us using our indicators. Uh, the LRT lines and the opening range indicator will be used during this session and um, the trade room is open Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays uh, in the mornings between 8 and 10 a.m. I know I'm going a little bit fast, but there's some, you know, a lot that we need to get through. Um, go through one more really important uh, notice for the disclaimers. Um, the webinars are for educational purposes. I'm not trying to get you to buy or purchase any uh, security or um, financial instrument or product. Uh, you're responsible for the investment decisions you make and should base those decisions on your own financial circumstances, investment objectives, risk tolerance, and liquidity needs. Uh, the saying that futures trading contains substantial risk cannot be understated. You can potentially lose all or more than your initial capital, and please use risk capital for trading. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Uh, the hypothetical performance disclaimer is very important. Um, it is often glossed over too quickly, I think, in these webinars. Um, hypothetical or back-tested strategy results can vary significantly from live trading results. For instance, back-test results may significantly change in a range-expanding market condition versus a narrow range day. So just be sure that your strategy requires certain market conditions to be present. And even if you were to match the strategy to that condition before trading, you may still have slippage issues or other things that may affect performance results. So this could be due to a data feed connection or broker fills. It's just best advised to forward test and back test the strategy before deploying it in your live trading account. And I think you would be happy and I would be happy. Okay, key concepts for short-term strategies. This is, you know, where we really kind of talk about this just a little bit further. Um, the strategy should be systematic, repeatable, yes. So we use a standardized process. I can't tell you how far we've come in the trade room building it. We use momentum with linear regression and higher time frame trend across multiple time frames and with quantitative methods now for entries, targets, and stops. And so um, condition, the condition for the strategy being repeatable, it just means that the, these conditions um, need to be present before it executes. So like the one strategy we're going to look at a little bit later, we got one entry in 10 or 20 days of back testing. So if you get a strategy with just very, very few results, be aware of that versus something that's going to be firing off a signal every 
15 minutes or 5 minutes. Uh, but you do want to understand the repeatable nature of your strategy. The quantitative methods are objective measures using statistical or mathematical data. Um, for instance, the empirical rule, meaning you go for you know the guts out of a portion of a distribution, so you're looking for that first deviation or second deviation. Um, ATR, VWAP, value areas, volatility bands, pivot points, prior day open, high, lows, close. As we will talk about in a few minutes, the traders are looking for levels to bounce off of. And um, so you can use all of these levels and um, values for um, quantitative uh, measurement. Uh, Stanley Drunkenmiller said that he never uses quantitative methods to time the market, which is very, you know, telling. Instead, he'll use liquidity considerations and technical analysis for timing. Once he has his system in place, then he uses the quantitative side to plan how far the market will go once the liquidity enters the market and drives price direction, hopefully with his technical analysis to pick it up. So that's all we try to do when we're building a strategy, is try to make sure that we know when the market is going to take off in a directional move and we can follow along and pick up some profits from it. Um, use the quantitative methods to um, um, measure how far you're going to go. Don't use those to um, time the market. I like, I appreciated when he said that. Uh, set short-term goals for the strategy and tweak. My daily goal is to grab a, an, ex, an expected part of a time frame being traded, so I'll know what that range has been performing before the market opens. And my decision is, is do I want 25% of that range, 50%, 70%, 100%? Well, if I learned anything about trading strategies, uh, it's to take the outliers out. So I don't want the 50, the 25% or the 100%. I want the middle. I want to be shooting for that 50 and 70 percent um, with controlling risk. I mean, that's important, the most important part of uh, short-term trading. And that, re uh, you know, really requires adhering to a risk management plan in order to limit drawdowns. Uh, there's not much I can add to that except for to, to let you know I have the same problem as a lot of traders do is if I'm discretionary trading, I'll have click-itis or something. And, Pretty soon I'm off the reservation and I'm no longer trading my strategy. I don't know what I'm trading, but it certainly wasn't the strategy or the trade plan that I came in with. And I think that's a lot of the, the discipline issues that a lot of traders will have. So um, you need to control your risk and, and that risk is also you not trading your strategy. So make sure you understand what it is you're doing in the market at all times, have a plan for it, and um, there's not much I can say beyond that. Establish that risk management process for each strategy being used and understand why you're doing it. And then back test and forward test. I mean, until that strategy is profit profitable in a simulated setting, don't go out and um, blow up some accounts. Uh, we've all done it. I've done it. So um, stick to the sim and you'll be uh, thanking me later. Build a library of trade management plans for different market conditions. I can't stress enough. So uh, coming up this next month, I'm going to focus on those two strategies in the trade room. Uh, that momentum, higher time frame trend breakout strategy on the opening range indicator with a quantitative risk approach and another strategy using the um, JADS LRT lines indicator for a different type of strategy, that um, volatility level and reverting to the mean. So. Um, Plan your strategy, understand the market, understand the range, and then try to shoot for some goals. And um, we'll all be ahead of the game. So let's take a look at the indicator real quick um, that I use. This is something that's new that I've really um, enjoyed having uh, on uh, the NinjaTrader 8 platform. These are the um, custom indicators uh, for NinjaTrader 8. The JATS Linear Regression Trend Lines Indicator or I call it the LRT lines. That's the um, indicator with this white uh, main trend line, the LR1. 
and then these channels are the volatility channels that are off the LR1 and um, that will provide me a lot of information on how I want to trade um, intraday and especially when I get um, price moving outside of a volatility band like it is up here trading outside that last band uh, I would want to know that information so that when I saw that reversal like on a 60 minute initial balance right on that line I'm inclined to trade it back to the reversal to the mean first it traded back to the half back which we'll talk a little bit about later of the 60 minute and then eventually it does make it down to the um, upward sloping linear regression line so the one thing to consider about these um, overbought oversold uh, levels on these volatility bands is if you have a strong momentum in the market uh, you'll be in a strong trending condition so those overbought oversold lines can just move all the way up don't think that they're always going to reverse back to the mean there are some times in the market you know maybe 10 percent or five percent of the market where you will get that outside just goes on forever so when you find yourself in that um, upper stratosphere as I call it um, sometimes it's just pleasant to sit there and just watch it run because it usually will close on the high you can go back and test that uh, but on this screenshot you can see where the price broke the fifth uh, the upper channel line then turned around and came all the way back in uh, the opening range indicator I just love 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 um, it's got the Glo Globex high and low and mid band as well as uh, you can set it for opening range uh, sessions for one minute five minute 30 minute and 60 minute ranges um, I use it I've coded our gap runs um, when price break breaks and trades back to a prior day close or something I can use it just you know selling off the Globex uh, breakouts which I've coded into a um, profit um, pr um, back test to just show you and um, so Globex breakouts or um, 60 minute half back um, you know trading um, will it's just a it's like lines that you can bounce off of so um, those are my two indicators that I get to trade lines off of so um, the systematic trade plan are you with me everybody still um, okay good good um, put your thinking cap back on and remember the daily ATR and those two profit targets we saw in the market analyzer uh, the profit target one and the profit target two um, look at those first thing when you uh, see where those ranges are in proximity to both a support or resistance level shown on the opening range indicator or the LRT lines indicator that is going to be our secret cipher um, from that information um, you can build a thesis for the daily trade plan if you have an idea of what the daily range will be and when and where to enter a position to take you to that profit target level um, will help you achieve your trade goals for the day um, or the session um, and especially when you use the process uh, the full systematic process of that higher time frame trend momentum and linear regression with it it's going to lead you to those levels like it did this morning in the trade room uh, it was just like a perfect opening drive so don't forget the risk um, portion of this um, the market analyzer provides that standardized risk for a 5 minute 15 minute chart so a one to one risk reward approach which is a win or lose can be traded with a breakout strategy so you could use that um, Globex uh, range maybe 50 ticks in crude oil that would give you a midline just if you were saying on the opening range uh, Globex midline of 25 ticks so you could trade a breakout of that 25 ticks is a good probability of a good profit target and risk amount if you just wanted to do one deviation of those um, Globex levels I mean there's many ways to trade your risk just find a strategy back test it and see how far that works for you um, I like using 618 you know that's the indicator that most traders will use to do those reversals so if the Globex risk is 50 ticks I might 
one, a 31 tick stop instead of the 25 tick, right? To see if I can stay in a trade and capture that extra profit target. But just get in the habit of noticing where those standard deviations are off the ranges and also where those profit target price targets one and two are in relation to that support resistance level you're using and know in advance if you want to reach any of those levels after the market opens. Um, and just as this is an aside for today's presentation, um, FYI, I simply isolated two strategies out of many that can be used as systematic short-term strategies with a quantified approach to measure risk. Uh, so once you get confident of being able to hit a set range, then you're more than halfway home. You're in between third and running to the home plate. So I chose the Globex breakout and reversion of the mean strategies not to recommend them per se, but just to demonstrate that they're two strategies part of any overall systematic and quantitative process that you can think about using. So uh, just FYI for that. So here is the breakout strategy showing the LRT lines and the opening range on a crude uh, trade, uh, how that's set up and what the signals would look at like for you. So you can see that you got the breakout on two locations on the Globex and the strategy just runs. And that's what you want to expect when trading a Globex breakout strategy. If it stops, you know, comes back, it might, you know, come back to that mid band like it did here in the Globex and came back didn't quite get up there, but then turned around. But you really do want it just to have a clean break and run. Those end up being, you know, the fastest, and most profitable. So go back and look at those when you install the indicator and see how far those Globexes are running in the different markets. They're going to run differently. The uh, ES is going to look different than the crude, you know. Look for your markets that offer the more bang for the buck. Um, it looks like gold is picking back up. So put gold back on your market analyzer and check out those Globex uh, breakouts. And um, just as a reminder, the Bloodhound signals on the chart are a separate add-on for NinjaTrader that you can get. Uh, you don't need Bloodhound to trade these indicators with NinjaTrader, which is great if you can code. But if you don't code, you might want to try Bloodhound as something as an alternative to create your strategies or purchase these pre-built strategies, templates, templates like the one in the JATS complete package. Okay, so the next slide is a little um, Blackbird, um, which is the uh, other add-on for uh, Shark Indicators to manage um, trades uh, for entering risk and managing uh, your risk. It shows that I've used a $500 flat profit and uh, target and stop loss for this back test that I was running. I just said, you know, give me a um, breakout on crude that provides basically a 50 tick profit after breakout. And I ran that back test before the um, presentation and you should know that I were limited. We turn in our presentation like a few weeks ago. So um, the back test was for June data, June data, which was current as of the time that I created these slides. So at that time, um, I used the strategy for the uh, Globex. And just as an FYI on this Blackbird, I um, talked to Jeremy Tang, you know, several years ago. Um, and said, you know, it'd really be nice if we could have the ability to use a dollar amount as the risk and reward target instead of having to define points or figure out percentages or ticks or anything like that. So he did. I'm like, yay. <laughs> I think it's a great addition to the new Blackbird. And thank you so much, Jeremy. Um, if you find that, you know, once you start doing a back test that you're getting 50 ticks and you can go ahead and easily just set $500 as the risk reward or do what I do. Otherwise, is you want to take one standard deviation of that and maybe knock that down to um, a little bit lower just to make sure you're going to be reaching that target. You know, ATR is not 100% every day. Sometimes it's going to be a little bit less and sometimes it's going to be a little bit more. But otherwise, just stick to however you're using NinjaTrader platform with your ATM 
or other strategy to calculate those ranges for you. And always, if you have my market analyzer, um, make sure you're looking at that profit target one and two uh, that's recommended for that session. Um, and I always use a fail safe, self, fail safe stop uh, whenever using a monetary max profit or loss. So always cover your base in case uh, something gets you know gapped over uh, unexpectedly which will happen very occasionally, but it could happen. So this Globex breakout performance, um, not to um, um, say that this is a recommended you know, strategy or anything, I just ran it for a test covering from June 11th through the 24th, and the strategy earned um, $2,660 on one contract, hitting that 50 tick profit target and stop loss. Um, after the Globex breakout. So um, it shows that it was a 71% profitability during that time period. And so it was a successful short-term strategy. And again, just think about, you know, lowering your risk or, you know, reward targets. Maybe you only want to trade to 25. So maybe you would have gotten, you know, stopped out if you had used a 25 tick stop instead of a 50 tick. Go back and look at the outliers on these reports and make sure you understand everything about that back test. Uh, go ahead and back and look at it. See why it was uh, profitable. And then if you see, you know, a market running, this is one of the short-term strategies you may want to include in your strategy library. It's a good one to have breakout strategy for the Globex. Okay, here's that ES reversion to the mean strategy uh, that I like to use. Um, it is a simple reversion of the mean strategy using the JATS LRT line indicator. You can see price closing outside the uppermost channel line and then reversing and heading straight back to the main trend line before rolling over. Um, equity indexes are not commonly known for being trending markets. In fact, they range instead most of the time and uh, come back to the middle. That's their job. They come back, they impulse out, and those market makers bring them back. Um, so bring the price back to value. That's what they're there for. So using a strategy like this on various time frames could be worth your while looking into. Uh, profits are taken at the main linear regression trend line or any other higher time frame um, trend line. So you might have a moving average sitting. Uh, somewhere on the chart also that you could use for one or the main uh, profit target or a secondary target. Um, or you can just trade to the profit target one or two shown as being available in the market analyzer. So um, reversion to the mean, very simple, simple strategy. And um, the report, report shows that there was only one t trade taken during this time period. And um, you could get more trades using smaller time frames or even volatility-based range bars, tick bars, you know, Rinko bars, whatever you like. But more trades will mean more noise, right? So take your time when back testing uh, these outer, um, outer bands, um, strategies, overbought, oversold conditions. Uh, you want to make sure that the um, there's not strong momentum and trend continuation in place when trading these strategies. Uh, the logic I use in this Bloodhound is just super simple. You just set price to cl close below the um, outside fifth channel line and it um, add a look back node and a hike in ASHI and um, reverse it and you're, un you're done in two minutes, right? Probably could probably time it and have that solver done in about a minute and a half. So big, um, you know, even if you do code, you might want to consider Bloodhound for the speed of putting together your ideas. Um, again, the hypothetical, hypothetical performance disclosure um, requires that I remind you that market conditions may not be the same um, going forward, which would affect future performance for this strategy or the other one. Uh, be sure to perform your own research and back testing before deciding whether to implement this or any other strategy before trading it live. The reason that a lot of reversion of the mean trades do not work is because uh, you're in a strong trending market and you just get rolled over uh, when you try reverting, reversing back to the mean. So um, this is something you would not want to deploy in a um, strong 
strong trending market. Okay, we have a special offer uh, to um, provide to you. It's 50% um, off on a one month subscription, valid for next month. And we can go through those two strategies using these two indicators. So you can upload the indicators and get ready. Uh, you'd get a chart template that will show you the setup just like you're seeing it here on the screen with your uh, Globex um, levels and the JATS LRT lines just as it's shown. There's also different ways to make the LRT lines uh, look different. Uh, so you've got some other settings that you might want to be familiarizing yourself with between uh, now and the 22nd. So you give you a few days to play with it before we get started. And there is a link on the website to um, click um, for that uh, registration for next month's special. Uh, just stop by the website at um, jautotradingstrategies.com or email us at support at jautotradingstrategies.com and we'll get you set up. And um, you'll need to register your license. So follow the registration process, send me your machine ID like it's shown, and um, I'll get it set up in the licensing server and we can expect you in the trade room then on Tuesday. Um, you can visit again the website to purchase the indicators um, or the complete package with pre-built templates. Uh, don't hesitate to pick up a template package if you would like to do so. Uh, keep in mind again, Bloodhound and Blackbird are separate licenses, so you will need to get a license from Shark Indicators to be able to use the templates that use Bloodhound in the complete package or the market analyzer. And with that, we have reached the end. So, merci beaucoup, muchos gracias, sayonara, trade well. Um, Tiff, do we have any questions out there? I do. Okay, we have plenty. Of hey, Julie, you're actually going to you're actually going to see those yeah. questions on the bottom left hand corner. Um, okay, you're thank you so this. much. I see them now. Um, the uh, Randy had asked if the 50% special is only for the first month. Yeah, it's 50% um, for the first month, correct? Um, it's 95 a month um, on a monthly basis. Um, it's more of an introductory. You, you may want to go ahead and purchase a yearly subscription, uh, but a monthly is available. Um, so yes, it's just getting you um, introduced so if you'd like to learn a trading strategy, learn about the indicators, um, that may provide you a good good introductory basis. Um, so um, let you check it out before making that purchase decision. I think that's an excellent way to do it. 8 to, t 8 to 10 a.m. Central Time, correct, Robert? Robert is asking, yes, this is Central Time period. Um, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the trade room's open. Um, Robert, I'm not sure about your second question. Um, don't know how to answer that, but 8 to 10 a.m. Central. Uh, Greg is asking, hi Julie, uh, for your system to be seen, what is the minimum needed on the chart? Well, you um, have a um, backup here. Here we go. This is what you would want. You will have you will have this um, indicator here, the the LRT lines indicator, which provides the volatility lines. So this is a trend indicator. Linear regression is much faster than a moving average. So a moving average is slow and uh, delayed, and uh, linear regression goes completely straight from point A to B and the lines are much more um, um, proficient to uh, efficient to provide those volatility ranges so this helps in you know seeing where these bounces occur so in an uptrend you can look for these you know buy low sell high you get a level like this opening range halfback and you see this candle here with this wick 
a wick close right there on the vol upward sloping volatility line. So you know right away that you know the market's coming in right above this Globex high and sending price back up that, um, for a bounce. So you could trade that for a bounce or what I suggest is being on the right side of the trade. You're trading back towards this linear regression line and um, I think yeah here's that same trade see it hit the linear regression line and it actually rolled over so um, you would um, be trading to the levels that we are trading in and um, but the opening range indicator provides the um, Globex, um, high, low, and mid band. The, um, once the trade session starts, you can set the uh, time zone and the um, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. in the indicator settings for crude or 8.30 to 9.30 for um, the um, indexes, I will give you a couple of chart templates that are already pre-set up, ready to go, one for crude, one for um, the indexes. If you want help setting one up for gold or any other market, the bonds or something, I can show you easily how to do that in the trade room uh, during the session and uh, help you with a chart template if you need it. But um, it's very um, self-evident when you get the indicator how to make those setting change, changes adjusted for the market that you're trading. Okay. Um, Jean is asking if I can show um, the NQ or ES examples. Um, I I am not able to show anything that's not on this PowerPoint gene. Um, we have to turn in the slides a little bit in advance and I can't go to a live market. Um, but here is the uh, crude again. The um, breakout occurred from the Globex and so I will choose that Globex high-low as a breakout and um, have it coded in um, Blackbird to take those, I mean in Bloodhound to take those trades, but you could tra you could code this yourself in NinjaTrader if you know how to code and create a strategy to enter on those uh, let breakouts and you can put your own um, filters in um, to your strategy requiring um, other conditions to be present. Um, if you follow along in the trade room uh, with us, you'll have access to that uh, mark an analyzer showing when uh, the momentum and linear regression and higher time frame trend or in the same um, you know synchronization uh, that's important for breakouts but if you um, um, get the complete package you would have access to the um, uh, bloodhound pa um, templates so we are going to have to wrap up in just a few minutes. Guys, I'm getting the uh, curtain calls. Um, I certainly appreciate um, you coming out. And Jeff, I'm sorry, um, I don't call signals. It's not a signal calling room. Um, I will trade along with you. I'll have um, trades open. I'll use the ATM for this next month and just enter off of the uh, signals that are generated off the NinjaTrader ATM, um, setting the, the stops and profit targets according to the market analyzer or um, using that to find like a pivot point or something near it. So if, if the market analyzer said that there's going to be, um, you know, um, 80 points available for a session, um, for instance, which is a big range, um, we'll, and you're breaking down off of the um, one minute uh, opening range and it's starting to break through that 60 minute bottom and a Globex bottom, you know, you want to go with it, especially if you have 
40 ticks left to fill. I mean, you already know where to go, and you know when you want to enter, it's just plan A, plan B, right? So you're using the quantitative distance that you're expecting from that short-term range. I have 80 points overall. I've got 40 left by the time it leaves that Globex low. And so 40 point, 40 ticks, I mean, from the low to the target is what I'm going for. I'll just start hitting it, right? So we'll do that in the trade room. Yes. No, these are Globex. Uh, that, the, um, the one hour initial balance just happened to sit near the Globex uh, on both of these. Um, they just happened to align. And again, I'm just using Globex as an example. There will certainly be other ranges that we can use in the trade room. You've got that halfback on the 60-minute uh, halfback. That's a hidden range. It really is. Um, it's not the 30-minute range. It's you know the halfway point between the 60-minute high low. But um, it you know having in your mind the the amount of distance that is statistically available um, and knowing where to take that to because we'll we'll see the pivot points we'll see maybe some other um, support resistance at that from a higher time frame chart uh, or mo higher time frame moving average like if there's a 200 moving average sitting there you want to trade to that 200 moving average right so I mean there's yeah 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 so it's just going to be uh, hopefully give us some great trade opportunities and for the um, NQ we'll set that up for the um, um, reversion to the mean strategies um, because they'll give you a lot of of those reversion to the mean the crude could do it too if it's ranging but crude's been moving you know it's certainly been moving a lot so uh, good times right all right uh, thank you, Robert. Um, I'm glad that you do. Um, I'll, I can't get you into the specifics of the um, time frames and things, but just think about that morning drive period. Um, the most traders are active in the market. Most active traders will trade that morning drive time, right? Or the uh, time frame uh, just preceding the close. So you want to be sure that if you're interested in market to get active during the time that most traders are active. Excuse me. Thank you so much, Tiffany. And guys, thank you so much. Come see us. Stop by the website. Thank you so much for your attendance. Absolutely. Well, I would like to give a special thank you to Julie Wade of J Auto Trading Strategies for a great presentation. Everyone in attendance here today will receive an on-demand recording of today's event. Just keep an eye out for that email. Ninja Trader Ecosystem is pleased to sponsor these weekly vendor events as a value added service for all our clients. You find value in these events, we hope that you will attend them on a regular, regular basis. We would like to remind you the information provided in this was that of J Auto Trading Strategies and not of Ninja Traders. All information for was for educational purposes and should not be construed as trading advice. Again, we appreciate the time you spend with us. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we hope to see you in future webinars. Happy trading from all of us in the Trader Ecosystem.